military gear is just an item of clothing until you leave the patches on, then you're wearing a military uniform. Hi, I'm Rob, I'm ready to start, and I'm back with another episode of Monthly Vintage. You know how it goes, I'm gonna be talking about a vintage piece of clothing, a thrifted item of clothing, and then talk about something cool that's not clothing related at all. So this month is the flight suit behind me. It's a, from what I gathered from my research, it's an Air Force um, coveralls flight suit from 1992. It's made by the company Isratex. So as you can see on this piece, it has uh, Velcro spots for patches to be put on it. Um, remember, if you're wearing military gear and it has patches on it, just take the patches off because military gear is just an item of clothing until you leave the patches on, then you're wearing a military uniform. This specific piece has a lot of zippers, a lot of pockets. Um, it's got Velcro straps to tighten it at the waist. This material is flame resistant. I got this in a vintage store in Boston called Vivant Vintage. This isn't something I wear a lot, but I do like to wear it every once in a while. Um, I like to style it either just by wearing the flight suit by itself uh, to make that's more of a statement for sure. You could wear it zipped up and fully embrace the military look, or you could even uh, take the shoulders off and wrap the sleeves around your waist for more of a casual look. I know that's kind of pushing some style boundaries, but it's definitely a way that you can stand out with your fashion. The way that I wear this flight suit more often than not is with either a flannel or a jacket or both over it. So when you put a flannel over it, it just looks like a pair of olive cargo pants on the bottom. Uh, what I like to do is button maybe halfway up the flannel so you can still see a bit of the flight suit popping out. This is great for if you want to stay warm um, and you just want to wear a shirt and a jacket. but that's not warm enough, so you throw on a flight suit underneath. When I'm just wearing the suit alone, I like to dress it down with sneakers. I feel like wearing boots with this flight suit is just a little bit too military for my style. When I'm wearing this suit with a flannel or a jacket over it, I still don't like to wear like combat boots or, or military boots. I, if I wear anything, I really wear like a desert boot or even sneakers. That flight suit is definitely one of my cooler vintage items. Um, but now let's move into the thrift item for today. It's gonna be this Nike Anorak jacket. Uh, I got this at the thrift store. It was a great find. I love the colors of it and it fits. It's got, it's a medium, but it has a lot of room in the body. So I can wear a sweatshirt and I can layer this and still be warm. And this is pretty rain resistant. I'm not usually big on purple, but with the navy blue and the khaki color, it really works very well. And this is one of the few pieces of purple clothing that I own. As you know, I like to finish these videos out by showing you something cool that's not clothing related at all. This month's item is a bottle, uh, specifically this empty bottle of 1998 Dom Perignon Champagne. My parents picked this up decades ago and one day pulled it out of the closet. I forget what we were celebrating, but we were celebrating something and we cracked this bottle open and when we were done with it, um, they were gonna throw it out, but it's my birth year, so I said, don't throw that out, I'll keep that. So this is a keepsake that I've had and a decoration in my room. That's gonna do it for this episode of Monthly Vintage, episode three, I believe. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. Check out the old episodes if you haven't already. Uh, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one.